You know, uh, <clears throat> we, did, we had a little time to prepare, as, as Texas did, for, for this game. And I think that put us at a little bit of a disadvantage because they have the older players. But uh, our guys were locked in, uh, in yesterday in practice and today. And, and um, you know, I, I, uh, again, I, I, we just can't send up about our crowd, the fans. They, you know, the students were camping out a couple of days before. And we went out and gave them some pizza. And, and thank them, but uh, it, it means a lot to our to our players to have the student body behind us and and have a packed house like that. So I, I think we, you know, uh, a lot of our energy was drawn from the just from the student body and the and our, in our in our I don't know if it was a sellout, but it was it was a, a great great crowd, and they were very very vocal and and you know they got back involved and right when we needed them to, and that helps a young team when your things aren't going well and you get a little down and you get to hear the fans cheering you on and keeps them focused and and uh, confident and energetic. Uh, in the second half, <clears throat> UT started uh, doubling that high ball screen. Yes, they did. And uh, there was some sort of a counter to that where you were finding guys cutting along the baseline. Uh, I don't know if it was the mid post or a short roll, but could you talk about what your counter was? Yeah, we, we anticipated they'd do that because they've done that in the past. So we uh, just, you know, right at the start of the second half, we spread our team out. And uh, and so, uh, you know, it was going to be a little harder to, to – uh, uh, to trap us and all, and then we just short rolled our big and we're, was able to get to him. And for the most part, I think we made a lot of good decisions out of that, and they, they, it uh, kept them from doing it uh, late in the game. And last question for me: <clears throat> How painful was it uh, for you to go into that two-three zone uh, late there in the second <laughs> half uh, out of the timeout? You know, um, <clears throat> you know, we, a lot of coaches use that. We've done it for several years. Is you know, to something we get in and just try to slow them down a little bit. But then again. Uh, one good thing about a zone, you don't foul as much. And when you're up, you know, uh, five, six, seven points, certainly you want to guard the three-point line, but you don't want them just driving to the basket and, and scoring easy two because you want to use some clock. So it's been effective as far as late. But, yeah, it's not one of my favorite things to go through, to go to. Uh, Coach, you know how emotional these games can be, especially against Texas. What's been the secret to the success down this past stretch? Is it playing with that February urgency? Is it just finally taking things time to all come together, a little bit of both? Well, I think a lot of it, anytime there's that burnt orange in the building, everybody gets excited. And uh, we, were, we wanted to play them. I, I thought to take nothing away from Texas, they're very well coached and uh, got really good players. But I, you know, I thought for the most part, our guys in this game, we wanted it more. Our guys wanted it for our fans, for the students. and. And uh, but mostly just for each other. I mean, these, they love each other. They they hadn't given up on, um, uh, on on their teammates or the coaching staff, and that means a lot. Our coaching staff is so proud of our guys, and I'm proud of our coaching staff. It's it's been a um, just a, it really has been a team effort for everybody. Just uh, encouraging and encouraging, and you know, I'm I'm my uh, you know my heart's just overflowing with just appreciation, joy, and even. What uh, Ko said, you know, we, there's been a lot of prayers, and we appreciate that support throughout the community and to keep us going. Davion eat his Wheaties this morning. Do what? Did Davion eat his Wheaties? This <laughs> he morning? must have. I'm, if he did, I'm gonna uh, get him some more when we go up to West Virginia. But but you know, Davion uh, had a great start for us, and and that got us uh, kind of it, it kicked us off to say, look, hey, we can win this game. And he, you know, he's a veteran and plays a lot of confidence, and and he wanted to win and. And made some big shots early, and then again late, like he always does. He was a good closer for us. So, uh, and I think he had his his uh, high at uh, 25. So, uh, you know, obviously a great game, and he should have been one of these guys up here sitting up here. But they said they wanted me to join him, so he got kicked off the table. So, Coach Carr got his, but the other guys for Texas really didn't. Yeah. Was that by design? Well, I mean, we know how long we can't stop. You know, Carr is just one of the best players in the league and scores in all three levels. We were just trying to limit his. Didn't do a good job there with Allen. I think he had, what, zero points. Um, and, uh, you know, the, other, the others were, you know, they scored a few. Um, Hunter was not in double figures. And, you know, we just didn't want, um, you know, we didn't want three or four of their scores to get in double figures. And so we'll take that any day just with Carr scoring the way he did. He's a great player, and he's their go-to guy. Even though you guys beyond, beyond had just Texas, you guys went from, from in the last two weeks being a team that was struggling in conference games to beating not just uh, three uh, conference opponents, but three of the best teams in the country. What uh, is overall in the last couple of weeks? What's, what's been different? You know, why, why, is, why are you guys winning these games now? You know, we're, we're uh, we just have you know we've had this young team and don't want to. 
uh, use that as an excuse, but it's just taking our guys to, to you know. And so we're still growing, and you know, we still have really two starters out right now. You know, with with uh, Bacho and and Pop and and these guys, we just figure our way to get it done. These, I just the credit goes to our players. Just so proud of them and. And uh, they want to be coached, and they they're want, you know like I think mean, Ko mentioned it. A lot of teams can get in this situation, get down, and uh, and uh, get in a hole, and it's hard to get out of that. But um, these guys believe in themselves, and I I do really. There's a saying I, I don't know if, uh, who said it, but uh, you know uh, adversity. Uh, you know with with excellence comes great adversity, and and we've had a lot of adversity. And not say we're excellent yet, but we're sure on that path. We're chasing greatness, and we want to keep improving. Coach, even though you guys did switch to that 2-3 zone, with the no middle, you guys have gotten back to being able to pressure guys towards the sideline and the baseline and really swarm them at the top yeah. of the key. What's clicked, I guess, between now yeah, and like just, getting you know, Just taking time. And, but, these, yeah, I, I'm proud of both. We've held two teams, the last two teams, under 40% from the field goal for percentage. So, proud of that. Uh, need to continue to work on the guard and the three-pointer. But uh, I thought they did a great job overall uh, just playing team defense. Coach, can you speak on Elijah Fisher's effort? Uh, yes, I'd love to. Elijah, uh, young, the youngest guy on our team, plays with a lot of heart. And, and I just keep telling him, you know, play hard because he's a very physical player and made some big plays for us. And, you know, I just love his energy. And kind of back on Fardaz a little bit, is he still improved? Is he had his best night, his, I'd say, as a Red Raider tonight? Fardaz can continue to get better because, you know, he's uh, – He's, he's losing losing some weight, and and uh, and, and his foot still, uh, you know, it's swollen, but not near like it was. And he's not playing with, no, with as much pain. But if we can continue doing the right rehab, we you know we think we can continue to get him to improve. And but but Fardos is is on the floor. He helps us with his leadership on on defense. He's a rim protector. He walls up really well. He knows where to go. Talks to our guys and. And he's a big force down there, and he's you know he's making a, a big difference, uh, as as did uh, um, you know uh, Bacho when he was healthy. Right. I want to keep going, but it's okay. <laughs> Mark, I know you mentioned uh, the way Davion played today. Can you just speak to just the way he's been able to kind of I don't know if it's fair to say, but he's kind of found that closer role now for you. We're back to back games. He's got those big layups, especially out of that timeout. I guess what was that meant for him to play to make that play, or did he kind of make? Well, that play? you know, and there's a lot that goes into that. We have to have a good ball screen, and we need shooters on the corners so they can't class. But, but I don't know if there's anybody you know in the in the conference or not many in the in the country that can go north and south like Dave Young can. Just extremely quick and and finds a way to get up on the glass, and he's made some big shots for us. Can you speak to what Fardos was able to do with about 34 <laughs> seconds? I think they had that inbound play. Brock seemed like he had an open shot, and then he goes and blocks that. How, how important of a play was yeah, that? Yeah, it was a big play. And, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we struggled with, with guarding inbound plays. We put Doss just right in the middle and, uh, and left him off the inbounder and, and said, just don't, don't give me anything easy. He made a big play. I know you alluded to it, but uh, what's the status on Daniel? I know you had a boot on. And yeah, he, you know he's, you know he's, uh, gosh, bless his heart. He's he's got a great attitude, and he's wanting to get back as soon as he can, and just playing with a lot of pain. And and um, certainly, uh, it's important winning is in this game. It's it's not uh, something that you want to put that kind of pressure where a guy's not, uh, you know, not mentally, physically, or emotionally ready to play. And for his, for, you know, for for uh, Bacho, he's just he's physically, he's just. Um, He's got that ankle and foot problem, and we'll just wait and see. But I'm, I'm hopeful he'll be ready for West Virginia. You think Pop may be ready at any point? It Possibly, seems, yeah. yeah. Maybe so. He's, he's getting there. More of the rebounding? I mean, uh, up 12 on Texas. Uh, how, what, what happened, you know what I mean, in your opinion? I'm going to answer that, Lance, for the guy with the pink tie on here, huh? <laughs> so, well – you know, uh, again, it goes back to a lot of emphasis. And but when you look back, and we played Texas the first time, we rebounded well. And when Doss was on the floor, we did you know against Baylor, we did the same thing and out rebounded uh, K State. So, you know, he's a big part of it. And and, and actually, Daniel Bach was on the floor too. So some of it just comes back to size. And we're just a small team without those guys out there. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank y'all. God bless you. Appreciate it.